It is Allah who raised the heavens without any pillars that you can see. Then he established himself on the throne and subjected the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. He directs the affair. He details the signs that you may of the meeting with your Lord be certain. I often find myself staring at the night sky, wondering about the countless pinpricks of light above. These celestial beacons have captivated humanity for millennia, inspiring myths, guiding explorers, and fueling our curiosity about the cosmos. But what exactly are stars? And how does our sun, the star that gives light to Earth, fit into this cosmic picture? Today, we're embarking on a journey through space and time to explore the nature of stars. They are the fundamental building blocks of the visible universe, scattered across the cosmic canvas like glittering jewels. But what exactly are these celestial objects? At their core, stars are massive, luminous spheres of plasma held together by their own gravity. They're cosmic fusion reactors, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. The stars is a spectacular event that unfolds over millions of years. It all begins in vast clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. As gravity pulls this material together, it forms a protostar. If the protostar accumulates enough mass, the pressure and temperature at its core become high enough to ignite nuclear fusion. The night sky is filled with stars of various types, each with its own unique characteristics. We have red dwarfs, the most common type of star in our galaxy, which are small and cool. On the other end of the spectrum are the rare blue supergiants, massive stars that burn hot and bright. Some stars have captured our imagination more than others. Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky, has been revered by ancient cultures and still guides astronomers today. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the constellation Orion, fascinates scientists with its variable brightness. And let's not forget Polaris, the North Star, which has been a crucial navigation tool for centuries. These celestial beacons, along with countless others, form the constellations that have inspired stories and myths across human cultures. Stars fusing hydrogen into helium. But the lifespan and fate of a star depend largely on its initial mass. Smaller stars like red dwarfs can shine for trillions of years, while massive stars might exhaust their fuel in just a few million years until God asks them to stop. Small to medium-sized stars like our sun will eventually swell into red giants before shedding their outer layers and becoming white dwarfs. But for stars much more massive than our sun, their end is far more dramatic. These cosmic giants explode in brilliant supernovae, briefly outshining entire galaxies. The remnants of these explosions can form neutron stars. Our sun, a yellow dwarf star, is anything but average to us. At one point, four million kilometers in diameter, the sun's structure is complex with distinct layers. At its core, Temperatures reach 15 million degrees Celsius, enabling nuclear fusion. This energy slowly makes its way through the radiative and convective zones before reaching the photosphere, the visible surface of the sun. Above this lie the chromosphere and the corona, visible during solar eclipses. The sun's influence on Earth is profound, providing energy that drives our climate and sustains all life. It bathes Earth in a constant stream of energy about 1,366 watts per square meter at the top of our atmosphere. This energy drives our weather patterns, ocean currents, and even the water cycle. The sun is dynamic, with sunspots appearing and disappearing in roughly 11-year cycles. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections can interfere with our technologies and create beautiful auroras. The flat Earth model suggests that the Earth is infinitely flat, with the North Pole at the center and Antarctica forming an ice wall around its infinitely extending edge. The stars and the sun are believed to be smaller and closer than shown in the traditional model. In this model, the sun moves in circles above the Earth's surface, explaining the cycles of day and night. Stars are seen as fixed points of light in the sky, and the rotation of the celestial sphere explains their apparent motion. The changing seasons are attributed to the expansion or contraction of the sun's circular path as it approaches the North Pole in northern summer and moves away from it in northern winter. In the scientific consensus, 
Stars are enormous, distant suns, many far larger and more luminous than our own. Their apparent smallness is due to their immense distances from Earth. Scientists use various methods to measure these distances, including parallax for nearby stars and analyzing the brightness and spectra of more distant ones. Our Sun is about 150 million kilometers from Earth. Earth's rotation and orbital movement explain the Sun's apparent motion and seasonal changes. This model explains why we see different stars from different locations on Earth and why stars appear to rotate around the celestial poles. The debate between flat Earth believers and proponents of a spherical Earth hinges on different interpretations of observable phenomena. Flat Earth theorists often point to the apparent flatness of the horizon and the fact that we don't feel the Earth's rotation as evidence for their model. They might explain gravity as the flat Earth constantly accelerating upwards or as a result of density and buoyancy. On the other hand, the spherical Earth model is supported by NASA, and so on, while the debate continues in some circles. Regardless of which model we subscribe to, the very existence of this debate underscores a fundamental aspect of human nature, our innate curiosity about the world around us. This drive to understand, to question, and to explore has been the engine of human progress throughout history. It's what led us from gazing at the stars in wonder to launching telescopes into space and study again both models. As we conclude our journey through the stars, I hope you're left with a sense of wonder about the vastness and complexity of our universe. Whether you see the night sky as a dome of lights or a window into infinite space, the important thing is that you're looking up and asking questions. Our understanding of the cosmos has come a long way, but there's still so much to discover. So keep wondering, keep questioning, and keep exploring. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled, and who knows? The next great astronomical discovery could come from someone inspired by videos like this one. I hope you like our stories of the skies. Until we meet again, I wish you a clear sky.